Hi guys! So in today's video I thought I would just do a super, super natural makeup look. My favourite kind of makeup look to do for every day, um, something that allows your skin to be breathable, to look healthy, um, have a natural glow from within kind of look. Um, and yeah, just basically do my normal kind of makeup looks for you guys. So I thought today we'll just stick to what we know and go back to some OG products. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you check me out. If you are interested, I post there daily. It's like my favourite current platform. I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, you can check out my Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below if you so wish. Um, but yeah, the products today are going to be super minimal really basic um, and really, really good products. Already done all my skincare prep. If you want to see a full video on that, I'll leave that down below as well. Um, I'm currently trying out Elemis products, a couple of other different products for a full month. And so far, so good. I will also be doing super close-up shots of the application and the skin because to me, I think that's really, really important. Um, but the first product I'm going to be going in with is the Glossier Future Dew, you guys know if you've watched my channel for a while, that this product to me is like the OG product for dewy skin, healthy skin. It has skincare benefits as well as that like dewy glow. I did find a dupe for you guys. If you can't get Glossier, I'll leave that as well down below. I did a full video comparing the two together um, and it's affordable, but you guys, Glossier. A real close up of my skin right now. So you can just see straight away, look at that. It gives the skin this glow and it just helps like any makeup that you put on top to sit perfectly on the skin. Okay, so next for foundation, Again, another holy grail product of mine that I absolutely adore is the MAC Face and Body Foundations. They are seriously something else. Again, I've done a full video on this. I do ramble on a little bit at the beginning, but I do have a full video on this. Um, and it is honestly like, there's nothing like it. I've just seen on MAC as well that they are launching loads of new shades and undertones in this foundation soon, which is very, very exciting. Can't wait for this. And also apparently the packaging's getting a little bit of an upgrade. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna mix two shades together. So my shade C5 is my summer shade. Um, the shade N2 is my like winter shade and I'm kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna mix the two together and use my fingers. So I like to just mix the two together on one hand and then taking a finger, I just like to kind of, I mean, that's like the perfect shade, just pat this on the skin. We don't want too much product because you can always like go in and add a little bit more. That's like more than enough actually. And so I'm just going to kind of Blend this out with my fingers. I mean, look how dewy this is. It's such a beautiful dewy product. And I get so many questions on my MAC face and body video about if this breaks me out. It doesn't. I've never ever had a breakout from this foundation. I mean, everybody's skin is completely different. And obviously, you know, if you are oilier, maybe it would, or it, I think it really also depends on your skincare routine. Um, whether you're really cleaning the skin properly at the end of the day to get all the product up. It really just looks like your skin. It evens out the tone of the skin as well, as you can see, but it allows your freckles to still kind of come through if you've got any, um, and it's just very, very natural. If I stand back, I'm just gonna take whatever is left. There's literally nothing on my fingers, but I'm gonna pat this in just to get no waste <laughs> on the skin and a little bit on my forehead. I just pat it and then I kind of massage it in. So now that we've done that, for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this new product, which is the Biterry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. This is, I bought this with my own money, it's quite pricey. 
um, and it's a really interesting kind of formula. So I just kind of pat it where I really sort of need any extra coverage. Um, it doesn't give you huge amounts of coverage. You'll see when I blend this out, but it has so many good skincare properties to it um, that it's almost kind of like worth putting on before like other concealers because it's just really good for the skin and it's really light, creamy, buildable for everyday makeup where you want to look literally like you're not wearing makeup but you want to have that kind of even tone this concealer is so beautiful and I went for the shade, I think it's three um, to kind of match my skin tone perfectly I use my fingers for literally everything in this look. I do use brushes, but when I want like a super natural finish, this is the best way to do it. I'm really enjoying this lighting at the moment. I've got a new lighting sort of set up. Let me know what you guys think of it. I also found out, I was watching a YSL video. Um, I don't really use a lot of YSL products, but I just found it very interesting that the creator creative director of YSL Beauty Products um, said that you always should do this bit really well in the inner corner because you have a natural vein there which gives darkness so it's not something that you can ever kind of get rid of with eye creams or anything but you can just cover that and it instantly will brighten the eyes and I always never sort of take it right in here so I've just done that and I think it looks really good. You could essentially just leave it here um, but you guys <laughs> You know that my favourite concealer ever is this Glossy Stretch Concealer. Look at that. It literally looks like butter on both the pan and the skin. It's so good. And I just like that it doesn't really give too much coverage. Again, it just gives a really buttery finish that I just am obsessed with. And I think layering it over other products also works really well. If you use a thick concealer maybe to cover blemishes and then over the top you kind of tap something like this on it. Just brings your skin back to a little bit more of a natural finish. Can you see how like dewy, look at that. Look how dewy it's made the skin. Oh my goodness. I'm literally obsessed. Look at that. So to keep a really dewy skin look, um, I've been using this product for the past kind of four months now, and I never kind of like personally bring it up because I just assume you guys know, but you don't. So I also take a concealer from Glossier and I take the shade G3. It's a really dark almondy, warm kind of shade. And sometimes if I feel my skin super, super dry and need something really creamy, I will go in with this instead because of that buttery finish. It just gives the skin a really beautiful dewy glow and looks super natural as a bronzer. So I'm just gonna step back a bit so you can see better. I use like a little stippling brush for this and I just really gently go in. I tap off some of the excess on the back of my hand and then I just sort of pat it to start with and you can see like a little really does go quite a long way and I'm just going to kind of blend this out with the brush and then just go in with my fingers to make sure it's all melted into the skin that's my favorite word to use actually melted because that's what you want I'm gonna put just a bit on my nose actually I really like the way that it looks. You see how nice that is? Let's put a bit on my ears. Okay, so for blusher, I've got quite a few that I'm really enjoying at the moment, to be honest. Um, as you may know, I've been reaching quite a bit for the Laura Mercier Watermelon. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. I've also really been enjoying this one from Hourglass as well. This is in the shade Dim Infusion. Um, I get a lot of questions about that. That's really, really subtle, beautiful, adds a bit of light to the skin. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so I haven't reached for the Glossier um, Cloud Paints in quite a while either. So I might use a mixture of a couple of different things. Um, so the, I literally have all the shades. It's crazy. Look how dirty they are as well. <laughs> but I'm feeling like a bit of a coral 
like this one, like a coral pop. And then I might put the hourglass one on top just to add a little bit more light. So I'm gonna take this one in the shade Beam. This is that coral one that I was talking about. Really, really nice product. So the way I do this is I just put a little tiny, tiny bit on the back of my hand. I mean, a little goes a real long way with this one. And again, I just use my finger and I just kind of pat it. Now, when I was watching this YSL video, um, the guy that's the creative director, I think his name is Tom or something, he basically said to kind of take up your blush almost where you would cover your bags, so right underneath your eye. He said it would just give you a really natural, soft, um, sun-kissed look. Some people only take it here, but he said take it right up, like right up to the under eye area. And it gives you like a real nice, soft, sun-kissed look. So we'll try that today. And then onto the eyelid as well. If you can hear loads of noise outside, it's because it's sunny now. So I think everyone's like coming into the gardens, doing work, that kind of thing, which I'll be editing this in the garden after because it's such a good day. It's meant to be 15 degrees. Really natural flush. And then, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Dim Infusion from Hourglass. Look how beautiful. Look at this. So stunning. And I'm just going to kind of pat a little bit right up here. So I'm coming in a much closer. I wanna do a rose gold. I look today really soft, natural, and I want to use a Victoria Beckham Beauty um, eyelid colour. So first I'm just going to go in with this Glossier colour in the shade Terror. Put this on here. Really nice kind of terracotta colour. Um, hence the name, <laughs> I guess. And again, I'm just going to use my finger to kind of wing this out. I mean, you could leave this as is, because to be honest, look at it. So this is the Victoria Beckham Beauty what is this actually called? A Lid Luster. Look how beautiful this is. This is in the shade Tea Rose. This is a really pretty like rose gold colour. How nice. Like in the inner corner of the eye. Okay, brows are done. So next I'm going to go in with this Code 8 Mascara, um, this is called the Lash Sophisticate Mascara, really really nice, it's my favourite mascara right now, love it. Some of this to my lashes. Then for my lips I'm just going to go in with two lip liners, you don't have to do this but I'm extra. So I'm going to go in with this one from Charlotte Tilbury, this is Iconic Nude, and then a little bit of Girl Code which is the Doll Beauty one. Gonna tap a little tiny bit of concealer just in the center. Okay guys, that is the finished look. Super, super natural, super dewy, fresh, skin-like makeup. I hope you guys like it. It's my very typical kind of makeup that I really enjoy to do. Um, and I will just happily wear this every single day. I'd probably do a little liner as well sometimes because you know, that's my favorite thing to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look, something a little bit different. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Don't forget to check out my Instagram channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.